Hello, my name is Mika Sanson and I'm a current executive of the Sports Medicine Club on Shanghai American School Pudong campus. We are here today to look at the basic skills of the ankle elastic wrap, through which by practicing these skills you will be able to apply the skill on student athletes. So let's get started. The skill that we'll be looking at today is the ankle elastic wrap. This is a skill which is used to treat ankle sprains of all severity. This treatment is done through reducing and controlling the swelling of the ankle which is done through providing stabilization of soft tissue that surrounds the ankle. Uh, the ankle elastic wrap is used immediately after a sprain. It is also used out of competition as it does not offer as much support as the athletic tape job. Now that we've talked about when and why to use the skill, let's get right into it. To begin, you're going to need a 4 inch by 5 yard elastic ace bandage. It might not look so nice in all situations, you might get it looking like this. So the first skill that we'll be looking at is how to wrap this in a tight manner. To begin the rolling process, find one of the ends of the ace bandage or the end with velcro. If you have velcro, it is important that you roll the velcro side inwards. In this case we do not have velcro so we'll just use one of the ends. So you begin by stretching out the ace bandage and then the first couple of times slightly bending in the end. So you do a couple folds in the beginning while stretched as demonstrated and then once you get a little bit of a roll going you can start stretching the ace bandage and then using your hand to roll in. And you can do this for the entirety of the roll. Make sure when rolling this that you stretch the elastic wrap quite a bit as you want it to be as tight as possible. So before beginning the compression wrap there are a couple guidelines that you should look out for. Firstly, make sure to try and avoid all wrinkles. Also, try and avoid any open spaces. Wrap from the inferior side of the ankle to the superior side of the ankle as this will push swelling out of the ankle region. Also, make sure not to wrap too tightly as this might cause circulation issues. And most importantly, make sure that you wrap towards the inside of the ankle or towards the medial side of the ankle. So let's get started. Your beginning point should be somewhere on the midfoot and a good guideline to find a good place to put your first uh, wrap over is to follow the, the tibialis anterior, which is this uh, tendon right here. Costas luckily has a very prominent one and it's easy to tell. And you're going to want to start at the insertion of the tibialis anterior or where this tendon meets the ankle, so somewhere around here. So your first wrap you're going to want to go over this point and angle it slightly towards the toes, just like this. You'll notice that by doing this, there's a little bit of a flap. This serves as your dog ear or the anchor for the entire wrap. This causes, gives a support to the wrap and ensures that it doesn't move around too much. So fold this over and secure it by doing another wrap around it. All right, now we're ready for the HELOC. The HELOC is a challenging skill for some student aides as some people have a hard time wrapping their head around it. So I'm gonna explain it very slowly and do it very slowly and hopefully you'll get an idea of what it is. This will definitely take practice though. So you begin by wrapping towards the inside of the ankle and you wanna go behind the heel. This is the first step, you're going behind the heel. As you go around the heel, you wanna angle the tape, the tape towards the midfoot and you're going to go around the heel and then under the midfoot and you'll come up like this. So this is going to be your first uh, heel lock and from this point on you're going to straight move into another heel lock which will cover the other side. So you, same idea applies. You wrap over the ankle, behind the heel, over the heel, around the heel like this, under the midfoot, and back up. However, as some of you might tell, this looks pretty unsecure and it looks like it'll slide off as soon as the athlete starts moving around. In order to prevent this, we're going to do something called a figure eight, which will support both of the heel locks. So this is done by firstly wrapping around, once again, the heel. You come over, simply go under the midfoot once again. Avoiding any wrinkles. Come back up and then wrap around and un behind the heel again. And then use the remaining tape to anchor the entire tape job. So, and make sure once wrapping up the ankle that you're covering 
um, each previous wrap by about half. And once you run out of tape, if you have Velcro, this will simply stick onto the rest of the ace bandage, and if you do not, you can use two pins to secure the tape. Thank you.